Alright folks, today we are making this amazing looking mini cast iron layered meat. It's time to grill. Let's get this video started with heating up the grill. We are using the master build auto ignite again. Just open the hopper, add your charcoal, place a starter below and the rest will be done by the grill. Amazing, I like that. 140 degrees Celsius, 284 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature to go. And start with an onion, just take a sharp knife and cut thin rings. Doesn't have to be perfect. There are many tools possible for uh, cutting onions, but this with a knife is just enough. We only need about one third till one half of the onion. The next thing you will need is a pork chop. This one has a bone and take a sharp knife and cut this into slices. You might have seen several of my big camp oven Dutch oven layered meat videos. It's the idea to have a cast iron pot and just do it layer by layer onions, meat, and different ingredients. And I visited Spoga this year, which is the European's biggest trade fair with barbecue and grilling people for equipment. All the companies are there, Kamado Joe, Napoleon, and all the big players are there. And I found a small partner which gave me a mini Dutch oven. I'll show you later. So I came up with the idea. After chopping and slicing the meat and the onions, place everything in the bowl and season it with a barbecue rub. Of course, this is optional. The onion does not really need to have the barbecue rub, but I like the idea of putting everything inside a small bowl to have the same seasoning almost everywhere. Here's my mini Dutch oven. And now we're doing this layer by layer. Starting with onions, meat, onions, meat, and keep going. And even though the amount and the number of ingredients is not very much today, you will find the whole list of ingredients inside the video description. So if you are inside the video description, you could also check out the links to my fan pages. You can find 0815 barbecue almost everywhere. I am on TikTok, on Facebook, and on Instagram. Keep doing this until your mini Dutch oven is completely stuffed with meat and onions. This one really turned out well. One chop and one half onion worked perfect. Close the lid and then place it on your grill. As I said in the beginning, the grilling temperature is 140 degrees Celsius. It's indirect heat all the time. And after 45 minutes, your meat is done. In Germany, we prefer those, we call them Brötchen. It's technically a roll from a local bakery nearby. Unfortunately, my favorite baker just closed and retired. So I have to go a little bit more and the bread is not that good as I got it in my favorite bakery, but I'm fine with that too. And here's the result. Make sure not to burn yourself. Take one part of the Brötchen or your roll, sprinkle over some barbecue rub. A lot of people still add the barbecue sauce. I'm, I apologize, I, I guess I said barbecue rub. Add the sauce already to the layered meat. I'm done with that. For me, it's, uh, the, it's so juicy, we don't need more liquid inside that Dutch oven. You can see all the juices and all the fat from the pork inside the mini Dutch oven. And this is just the perfect amount for one of these rolls. Amazing. Of course, you can give some more variations now. Add cheese, cheese sauce, hot sauce, jalapenos, French onions. There are many ways and versions possible. I decided to go for the basic meat roll. And now the bread can soak up the fat and is so delicious. Can't wait to hear thoughts on that. Of course, as always, hit that like button and leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate your help. 
Anyway, delicious stuff. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.